What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you a message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright. You were not born to suffer at all. That is not your purpose on this earth at all, whatsoever. Okay? Right, I'm just shuffling up before I shut up. I'll give you this message. <laughs> The way I interact with this channel is if you like the reading, that lets, if you like the, the video, then lets me know you like the reading or that it resonated. You know, more importantly, that above all, that it resonated. Um, but if you do enjoy the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. But I know these messages are going to get to you regardless of if you subscribe, you know. Um, they're not exclusive to me or any tarot reader. These are messages that have been probably trying to get to, through to you for a hot fucking minute. If not, have already probably reached you many times and you're probably hearing this same message for the fifth time and you're like, damn, I really need to do that in my life or expect this coming in my life or maybe I should get a personal reading, <laughs> okay? But I do speak clarity into your life and into just abundance into your world, you know? Of knowledge, of clarity, of wisdom, but more importantly, the application, how, how to apply those those great lessons to your everyday life. I speak that over you, okay? And if this is where we part ways, then hey, I'll see you in the next one, okay? All right, thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides of the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Ooh. This is going to be for the Pisces Collective to whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not. But this reading I am not. Thank you. What does Pisces need to hear? What is going on with Pisces? Hold on, I got some cards being weird in the deck. Got the Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords. Got the Magician reversed. Got the Nine of Cups, and then we've got the Queen of Swords. Huh, there's something that you're doing that isn't, isn't conventional. It's not the way people would usually do it. Or at least that's what's coming in. I'm seeing something that is not usually done this way. There's a new beginning of something, and the way it's coming about is not the way it's usually done. Okay, because right after that, we've got the, the Magician card reverse after this Ace of Swords. I'll show you the cards in a second. Then we've got the Nine of Cups after this, which lets me know that you're still receiving self-fulfillment. Okay, self-fulfillment, um, um, achievement, success, abundance, right? But then we have the Queen of Swords here that has to do with it's going to be the way you say something or take a stand. This has to do with work. This has to do with work. Crossing this energy is the Eight of, of Pentacles. So the first card out, here we go. Ace of Swords. This is that new beginning that I told you that's coming in. The way I know that it's unconventional is because of this Magician being backwards. The Magician is the Magician card regardless of which way it's turned, okay? It's the Magician, the, the great manifester himself, okay? In this sense, it's instead of upright, it came out reverse. So there's still manifestation here, but it's different. It's in like in an unconventional way. It seems to me that your crown chakra is lit. Ah, that's what I think. Or there's advice here that if you're trying to make a decision when it comes to work, yeah, some sort of work opportunity, some sort of career, some sort of financial opportunity, yeah. There, I think there might be some sort of unconventional way that you're wondering if this is what you should be doing because I'm seeing a lot of the crown chakra. But the reality is, is that the path is lit for you. Right after this, we have the nine of cups. The nine of cups. You need to take a risk on yourself. There's some sort of chance that you need to take. Some sort of chance that we have to take. And then after that, we've got the queen of swords. Queen of swords, it's echoing the energy of the ace of swords with that crown chakra energy, but also with that taking a stand taking a stand in which direction you want to go knowing what is a lies ahead a queen and king does not have to you know uh explain themselves 
you know what's right for you. You know what's right in this decision. There's something saying you need to take it or be aware that this decision is coming to you and you're gonna need to really trust yourself. This has to do with uh, with work, eight of, of coins. This is something you're working on. This could have to do with a degree, with education, training, certificate. Um, this is something to do with work, something you've been, it's, it's been in the long works. You've been wanting this for a while. You've been manifesting and working towards this for a while. Like really putting in the work that's necessary in order to manifest this sort of new beginning. But it's more than that. It's a sense of self-fulfillment. There's something about you that is the biggest part of this. It's not about achievement, success, accolades. It's actually not any of that. It has to do with you feeling happy with yourself. There's something that you're going to do in an unconventional way that to others are going to be like, that's what you're going to do, or that's where you're going to move to, or that's the business you're going to start, or the, you're going to quit after all this time. Yes, yes, the fuck you are. Because you've realized what makes you happy, and you're just ready to just do it. If that means buying up some fucking land in New Zealand and being a sheep herder and working from home, if that's what brings you ultimate happiness... If that's what makes you happy, you know, living at the bottom of a fucking waterfall in a valley or something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Living somewhere where it looks like a screensaver or something. If that's what you want, then that's what you want. You know, there's something about, like I said, something unconventional, some new beginning that has to do with the way you feel, your sense of self-fulfillment. But more than that, rewind this with this Queen of Swords. It has to do with the way you go about it, the way you take a stand, the way you act on this is going to be the biggest, probably the biggest like moment outshining this entire experience that you're coming into or about to come into. I think for a lot of you, you're being told, like being not being told, but you know for yourself, you do want to move. Some of you want to move out the country, I think, like straight up just want to pick up and, and, and move or move to another state but in general there's some of you that it's like big things or saying you know I, I know I do this for a living but I really want to own a farm I can work from, from home and, and own my farm or something or invest in this or there's some of you that are deciding I'm going to do what I need to do I'm going to move whatever chess pieces I need to move in order for me to feel self fulfilled damn how it looks like to anybody else on paper or on video this is what I want hmm, this is huge I like this for you Pisces damn way to come into your own why is this message coming out why is this message coming out it's a beautiful message <gasps> mm, it's because of all the endings because you got the ace the ace of cups came out first and then the nine of wands that's the second the second nine in your the second nine in your reading and also the second ace. You know, your first card was the ace of swords and now in your your next lineup here, you've got the ace of cups. This is about an abundance, a gift, a, some, a new life being presented to you after a long time of stress. I think you put a lot of stress on yourself based off of outdated timelines, like things that just aren't, you know, thinking, I, I don't know, an example is, I gotta be married by this age. You know, I got to have this many kids by this age, or um, I have to have a business by this age, or or that age, or I have, to, I have to, you know, I can't go back to school. I should have done, gone to school um, in my early 20s and things like that, like outdated timelines. That's what I mean by, you see what I'm saying? So we apply that to you how, how it goes. But that's what I'm seeing is that you were living off of and feeding off of old timelines and people that weren't meant for you. Even opportunities and goals that you set for yourself that over time you realize, this isn't really what I want. This isn't really what I want. This isn't gonna, gonna be what makes me happy. Or maybe some of you are realizing, you know what, why am I planning for 20 years from now? Why can't I have that life now? What's blocking me? What's in the way? Good on you, Pisces. Can I get two more cards for this for what this is? For what, why, or better said, why this is coming in. I said, why this is coming in. We got the Queen of Wands. Yes, this is you owning it. This is you. Oh, ooh, that's y'all seen that, right? There's like fucking, there's like a dozen cards on them. All right. 
Um, let me get one more card. Sure, let me get like this. <laughs> let me get one more card. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is after so much time of you not having what you want or what you need um, to be able to pursue or feel motivated or feel confident enough to engage with the lifestyle that you were manifesting. There was a block there. There was some sort of block there. It was an insecurity of, or of a, a fear of some sort. And yes, having a lack of resources is a fear, is an insecurity. And sometimes resources doesn't look like money. Sometimes that looks like mentorship, okay? Um, and so, yeah, there, I'm sensing some sort of fear and security surrounding how you were able to provide stability for yourself um, in some sort of aspect in your life. Because after this nine of wands, now we have this queen of wands. This is you owning it. This is you turning this into this. This is you saying, I'm not going to work in the fucking field no more under someone else's thumb telling me how I'm doing the fence around here. I'm, I'm switching to sunflowers and I'm going to own the business. This is a complete shift in mindset. I'm telling you, an unconventional way of how you're going to approach your success and your wealth because it's coming in. You have a lot of wealth coming in. So much wealth that I do see whoever I'm talking to writing a, not, um, a, not a self, it's like a self-help book is what I'm seeing, but like also biography, like it's about you and like a success book, like motivational. I, I see you doing this because that's how quickly you're able to kind of shift your, your perspective to work to your benefit. And again, this is confirming what I'm telling you about the four of cups. This is after a long time of nothing. Look, this is why this is coming in. I think right now you are in this four of cups. You feel like a lot of time has passed you by. You feel like opportunities have passed you by. And you sometimes question, how come I didn't have enough mentorship or wisdom or guidance to be able to see opportunities when they were there? So I'm saying, look, Ace of Cups, misery, Queen of Wands, more misery. It's like, it's, it's talking about this cycle that you were going through. This cycle of, and, and honestly, it was self-sabotage in the sense that you continue to engage in these self- these same these same um, cycles, you know, you kept engaging in these same cycles of lack mentality, scarce mentality, and thinking that you have to work under someone else or something. And there's something coming where you're realizing I can write a book on what I've been through. I've been through so much shit and came out of it that I can write a book on it. Do you understand? Like some of you are really turning the crumbs that you've been given in life. And you've collected those crumbs and now you got a fucking cake. Okay? And you're selling it on the <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like it's just you've you've turned you're you're deciding to shift your perspective on what you've been through. And the way you engage with what you used to perceive what you used to perceive as failures. Okay? When really they weren't failures. It was your story. Damn whoever caused the story to be written that way doesn't matter that was your fucking story and some at some point you've realized this great shift like oh well i'm in control i'm in control of what happens next i'm in control of how my story is told i'm telling you there's something you're about to go for crossing this energy is the temperance card sagittarius energy this is this is heavy on the the balance you know instead of like focusing on how you missed opportunities in this past with this four of cups or how you tried to engage with other people and they rejected you. Maybe that was your, your hand there. You pour into yourself now. Look at you. You're a fucking walking earth angel. Crown chakra is lit again in this. Listen, crown chakra is, sp is speaking heavy in this reading. Please be cleansing your crown chakra. There's something big about that. Damn. All right, so we know which Pisces we're talking to. Um, why this is coming out, we know as well. Because there's this, there's just greatness coming to you. Can we get a little bit more on this? Okay. This is, this is the Eight of Cups and it came out reversed. 
it came out reverse. This is a switch in your energy. I'm telling you, this is a switch in your journey. You're still on your journey. It's just an unconventional path. There's something you're realizing, a talent, a gift, some sort of, some, some maybe even a creative outlet that you're like, I want to make money off of that. I can't. See? Wheel of Fortune. After that, we got the Hermit card. I can't make this shit up. The Wheel of Fortune is letting me, is confirming for me that a new cycle is coming out for you. A new cycle is coming for you. Okay? Yes, you're still on your journey. It's just in an unconventional way. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune right here. And you are ready to spin that fucking wheel. It's being presented to you, but only you can spin it. And right after that, we have the Hermit card, Virgo energy. It's the second time we got Virgo energy in this reading, by the way. Um, I think this is talking to you about being focused, staying focused. Because after this, your fourth card is, is the King of Pentacles. This is like great fortune, great wealth that's coming to you. I don't think you see this coming. That you might not see coming because the path looks so unfamiliar because you're used to this path being up, you know? The path is unfamiliar. What's coming to you? We've already gone through this and I've already talked about this. Hmm. You're shifting too. Again, This with this eight, this eight of cups reverse, you're coming out of this karmic eight of being on this journey, but walking like you're, you're approaching your destination. And it's, and it's ending, it ended up being in an unconventional way. You really didn't realize, didn't think all that you've been through would be to, for you to actually end up, it's almost like someone going to law school and then end, ending up on, you know, the Food Network channel as like a star chef. It's like that unconventional, you know what I mean? Like there's something about what truly makes you happy versus what pays the bills. Okay. And there's a thought, a, a dream, there's something there, but that's coming. That opportunity is there and it's coming for you. And we have the three of wands here. Listen, this opportunity, I think, is coming to your doorstep. It's going to be here within the next three months. This is definitely you looking out for your ships to sail in. If you're already, if you know, if you'll know if this is for you. Because you're going to be like, you know what? I am actually switching shit up. Or now that I have business going, I'm actually moving cities. And people didn't expect that to happen. Or blah, blah. I don't know. There's something, something is changing. Something is shifting. This is your confirmation to go for it, to do it, that there is protection over it. Okay, that you are ready to be on this hermit, this 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 road right here. You are hyper focused. Like look at these four cards again in the order that they are. This is someone in a with their staff on the road looking for themselves, the moon, right? The moon. So they're really thinking about themselves and their journey here if you're a Pisces and you're following along with the moon analogy. Because the moon is our card in tarot. So you're shifting out of this eight of cups searching in search of your journey because a new wheel has been presented to you. Why? Because you're ready for this. You're going from an eight to a ten. This is ten major arcana. This is major arcana ten. Wheel of fortune. This Nothing happens unless you spin it, baby. You gotta fucking spin it. It's time to spin that wheel of fortune. But somehow you have elevated because, not somehow, we know how. This elevation for this wheel of fortune, it comes from maturity and growth. Look at this younger person with the staff on their journey to the moon. Whereas this older person has their staff, is older, more mature, wiser, and has the lantern in front of them. They're realizing, I need to focus on what I can control and what's right in front of me. I don't need to see the fucking mountains and all this other shit. Like, I know I know what I'm focused on and it needs to be what's right in front of me. And some of you have grown to that. You're realizing, damn, I was so focused on so many other shit on, on fucking, basically me, but in accomplishing the world. And the whole point of me accomplishing was the world or this great desire was ego-based. Because it was all about me. But now there's something greater there. There's something bigger there. There's a sense of maturity spiritually and mentally. There's a lot of wisdom in how you're coming about your journey and ending it. Because now you're more focused on, like I said, what you can control, what's within your reach. You're really focused in because you know that you can get to the bigger stuff, but you can't do that. If you can't get to the mountains ahead of you, if you're not focused on the steps right in front of you. Do you understand? That's the difference between these two motherfuckers. 
oh, let me get to the moon and stumble on my way there. There's a sense, different maturity level there in, in, in um, approach. And then again, at the end of this is the king of pentacles. This is all about what's coming to you. And look, the coin, the symbol there, same symbol there. Not there. There. See what I mean? See what I mean? I can't make this shit up. Listen, if you need a personal reading, let me know. Okay? Um, this was a very direct message for somebody. I know when it's for a lot of people or when it's for a handful of people or a dozen or one person. This this is for somebody specific. It really is. And I'm thankful for you, you know? Um, I, I'm, I really, I hope that you claim this. I hope that you claim this. Because again, this is coming to you. This is coming to you after this journey, after this great maturity. And it's in a way that you weren't expecting. There might even be things in your life right now that you're like, why is this shit coming up right now? It's for a reason. It's for a reason. So because you got to, your attention needs to be brought to it. You need to deal with it. You've put it off for too long is what I'm hearing. All right. I love you. Please take care of yourself. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I love you so much. Today is, oh God, what is today? Monday. Today is Monday, August 5th. Monday, August 5th. Okay. I love you. Please take care of yourself. Okay. Bye.